At what point in an escrow do you, the buyer, lose your deposit? I get this question from almost every single one of my clients, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly when that time is. Let's go. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Brandon, welcome back to my channel. If you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. So you're an escrow, congratulations on getting your offer accepted. Now, maybe things are starting to go south in the escrow or maybe you just wanna know this information for your own for your own benefit. When you are in escrow, you guys have what's called contingency periods. And for this video and purpose, we're just gonna say that contingency is a fancy word for a reason to cancel escrow. Fancy, mm, I like fancy. Yes, fancy. Now this video is gonna be geared mainly towards people in California. So if you are in a different state, it may vary, but I still think you're gonna find some value in this video. Now some of your contingencies could be say the sell of your house. If you are selling a home in order to purchase the one that you are in escrow on, the other one would be a home inspection. Now we talked about home inspections in my previous video. Click on the link above if you wanna check that one out. Your next one is your appraisal and then your loan contingency. So right off the bat, you open escrow, you put down $10,000 onto this property. Okay, so that $10,000, it doesn't immediately go to the seller, it goes to escrow. Escrow is gonna hold on to this money until the close of escrow, and then when it finally does record, that deposit that you put down on the house does go towards your down payment. So when you are in escrow, within the first couple of days, you do your home inspection, and you find a couple things wrong with the property. So after reviewing the home inspection report, well, there's a few different outcomes that can happen. One, you cancel escrow, Two, you ask the seller to make the repairs, or three, you ask for a credit in lieu of those repairs, and you will do them once escrow actually closes. Are you doing a bit of It's back on. Or the last one, you send over your request for repairs and the seller says, nope, I'm not doing anything. This house is sold as is, take it or leave it. Whatever you work out with the seller, the two of you decide that, hey, we are moving forward in escrow, and at that point in time, you will be asked to remove that contingency, that reason to cancel that I was talking about. So you remove that contingency period and what you are telling the seller is, hey, I wanna move forward with this property and I am not gonna cancel escrow because of the home inspection. And if I do, you will get my $10,000 deposit. And that is if you cancel for the home inspection after you removed your home inspection contingency. Next would be our appraisal if you are getting a loan on this property. For this video, we're gonna assume that you are. The bank sends out an appraiser, and what an appraiser is, is they are someone that's gonna come out and assess the true value of this home. The bank wants to lend you money, but they don't wanna lend you more than they have to. They don't wanna lend you more than what the house is actually worth, so they bring in a professional who's going to come in and give them and assess the true value of this home. So the appraiser comes out and assesses the true value of this property. After a couple days, the lender actually gets this report, okay? It's gonna take a few days for the appraiser to put together the report and get it over to your lender. I always tell my clients to expect a five to seven day window of time before getting that report. Guess what? The value came in less than what you are in escrow at. So from here, we have a few different options. We can either get the seller to come down to that appraised value, what the appraiser said the home is worth. You can either say, hey, forget the appraisal. I want this property and I really love this area. We meet in the middle, right? So say we open escrow at 650 and the appraiser came in at 625. We meet them halfway at that 637.5, if my math is correct, double check. Or the last outcome is we just don't come to an agreement and we cancel escrow. For this video, again, we're gonna assume that you and the seller came to some kind of agreement and you decide you wanna move forward with the purchase of this property. So they ask you to remove that appraisal contingency, which you do, meaning you've now removed your home inspection contingency. You are saying, hey, I want this property, and if something happens and this deal cancels, it's not gonna be because of the home inspection. Now your appraisal, you're removing that contingency, meaning that, hey, we're okay with our price, there's no issues here, we're okay moving forward, we're not gonna cancel escrow if it gets to that point because of the appraisal. We've come to an agreement, you and the seller. And then your other contingency that we talked about at the beginning of this video is your loan contingency. Now I'm not a lender, if you want the most insight on your loan contingency, contact your lender. But to make it very simple for you guys and what I tell my clients are, is just like you needed to meet a certain criteria for your bank to wanna give you a loan, 
that property needs to meet certain criteria as well for the bank to lend on that specific property. Meaning you can't have any liens against the property, right? So say the, uh, the, the, the homeowners had their kitchen remodeled and they hired a contractor to come over, remodel the kitchen, and they never paid the contractor. Now that contractor is coming after them and slaps a lien against their property, meaning that he needs to get paid prior to them selling that house. The other one would be that the house needs to meet certain health and safety issues also that the property needs to be worth what you are paying for it. These are all certain scenarios that the bank needs to see in order to give you a loan on this exact property. And there's a lot of other scenarios, but we're just gonna be a little short and to the point for you guys. Now you came to an agreement on everything with the seller, the bank, they reviewed the property, it meets all their criteria and they say, hey, Mr. Future Buyer, this property's okay, we're gonna give you the loan you can remove that loan contingency now. So you go back to the seller and you say, hey, I did all my due diligence, all my research, and I have no more concerns about this property, and I am gonna remove that last reason to cancel being my loan contingency. In the state of California, your traditional loan contingency period is 21 days. You can shorten it if the sellers ask you to, but we're just gonna keep with traditional timeframes for this video. On that day, that 21st day of escrow, okay, three weeks now into escrow, you get final loan approval and you decide, hey, I'm gonna remove this contingency. You are removing all of your contingencies at that point and from here, that is where you can be in trouble if you decide to cancel. So you did your research, you got a home inspection, you worked out everything with the seller on any potential repairs that needed to be made, you got an appraisal done, you worked out a price that is happy for, that works for you and works for the seller and then your bank signed off on the deal. They said this property is awesome it's exactly what you the buyer needs to be buying so you remove all of your contingencies and from this point going forward if the deal falls apart that is where you as the buyer your money can be at risk so we are in escrow for a total of three weeks 21 days before you the buyer has any real risk of losing your deposit so you make an offer on a property, a couple days go by, you see another one that pops up. You go take a look at that property and you say, you know what, this property's a little nicer. And you decide you wanna move forward on that property. Well, you completely can, nothing stops you from doing that. You can put an offer on that property, you get an offer accepted on that other property, and you decide, hey, I wanna cancel escrow because I like this other property more. You have the right to cancel and you get your entire deposit back. So the myth of as soon as I get my offer accepted, I lose my deposit, that is fake. You are hearing it from me first. If you have a change of heart in escrow, if you still have your contingency periods, your home inspection, maybe the contingency of the sale of your house, you have your appraisal, you have your loan contingency, if you still have those in place and you decide you wanna cancel, you completely can without losing any money, except for possibly if you already had an appraisal done or a home inspection. Those are dollars you do not get back, but, other than that, your entire $10,000 is all yours. Again, I hope I brought you guys some value here and I hope you learned something. If you did, hit the subscribe button down below, leave me a comment, let me know that you guys liked the video, drop me a like, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Anything helps, guys. I would really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Brandon Peters and I'll see you next time.